Hey, what is going on, Aries? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, with that being said, let's get it. Universe, what message do we have? for Aries what can we see coming in for Aries Right, Aries. Let's get it. So the first thing I see, Aries, I feel like this, there's this connection. Now, for some of you, this is someone you just met or someone that you're going to meet. But I feel like once you meet this person, there's going to be no doubt of who it is. You know, it's exactly who we're talking about. You're going to know them when you meet them. And like I said, if you already just met them, uh, but it's definitely a new energy. One of the things with this person, and I, I love this reader already. Um, one of the things that I see, I mean, I, I feel like this like flirtatious energy with this person, uh, it starts off very hot. Um, but that's just where it begins. I mean, there's so much more going on here. This is someone that I mean, they're very confident, very passionate. And like I said, the heat in the beginning is off the charts. But that's not what's the most important thing here. That's not, that's just the beginning. I mean, it's just the tip of the iceberg. What I see with this person is it's not how they look at you. It's not also, it's not just what they say to you. And it's not how they feel about you. It's how they make you feel about yourself. You know, that strong, confident energy. You know, I, I feel like a lot of times we, you know, Aries, you meet people that try to tone you down. And what I mean by that is sometimes we meet people and they're like, oh, you, you need to calm down, you know, you need to tame that fire. All that bullshit. With this person. They encourage that shit. You know, they like that fire. That's what they like. And they see you as someone that is confident. Someone is, you know, just like them. On that same level. They want to meet their match. And they met it. They met you. You know, this person inspires you. To be everything you are. Never trying to hold you back. Never trying to, you know, tone you down. If anything, I see them building you up. I mean, I see a lot of things going on here. But one of the things that I love the most is that. I love that energy. Um, you know, the strength this person brings to the table. You know, they can handle anything and they're not afraid you know there's this fearlessness to this person they want someone that meets them all the way you know they're not trying to they're not trying to change you they don't want you to change i mean they see 
so much potential here. And that's what they're after. You know, like I said, they're harnessing that inner boss in you. You know, they see the potential, they're protecting it. I mean, this person, they have your back. This is someone that I feel like is really gonna make you happy. You know, I feel I see a lot of happiness here. I mean, this is someone that sees your worth and they embrace it. They're not trying to hold you back. They're not trying to make you into something that you're not. And I feel like in, in the past, we've met people like that, that, that try to bring us down, that try to bring us down to their level. You know, they try to make us different than who we are. You know, I'm a fire sign. I'm a Sagittarius sun, moon, and a Leo rising. I know all about fire. I don't need someone telling me that I, I need to cool down. I need someone that can handle me when I'm hot. <laughs> and that's exactly what I see with this person. I mean, you've already gotten, you already have their attention. I mean, this is exactly what they've been waiting for. And I feel like this is exactly what you've been waiting for. Someone that is just there for you. You know, shit pops off. They ain't blaming you. They're there. They got your back. You know, with that, that ship finally coming in, we have this person waiting at the harbor and you see that ship coming in, you know, thinking about you and only you. I mean, yeah, this is a hot reading. There's a lot of physical energy, but it's more than that. This person just isn't just your... You know, this isn't just about the physical. I mean, this person wants to... You know, they got your back. They're your friend. You know, there, there's this emotional connection. There's this mental connection. There's this, you know, very intimate and, and steamy connection. But at the end of the day, they're your friend. And they want what's best for you. And they'll always show up for you. You know, and I, and I feel like very quickly this person sees exactly what they want. What they knew they were going to see. And I feel like this is getting serious quickly. I mean, they're falling hard and fast, and I don't feel like you're falling any any slower than they are. I mean, I, I feel like you're falling hard and fast as well. You know, you just feel comfortable in your own skin with this person. You feel like they get you in a way that no one else has gotten you. And that's why, like I said, I mean, we have the Fool card, the beginning of the Tarot, the beginning of a journey. And we have the Knight of Swords, that quick moving energy. This is moving quick, but it feels so right. I mean, we have new love. We got that lover's card. That Gemini energy. You know, this this feels right. It feels like this is exactly where you were meant to be. Nothing better than being with someone that makes you feel comfortable in your own skin. And the opposite is true as well. There's nothing worse than being with someone that makes you feel like you're too much. You know, this person doesn't make you feel like you're too much. They don't feel like you, they don't make you feel like you're not enough. They make you feel like you're just right. You know, and, and it's a strong bond that you have with this person. You know, that lifelong bond that I see here. I see a lot of, like I said, I mean, a lot of physical, a lot of mental, a lot of, a lot of shit going on here. But the most important in, in this is, you know, just having your cups filled. You know, this adventurous and passionate and loving energy all tied into one. You know, we have that emperor and empress. You know, that emperor, we got that Aries energy again. I mean, it's... You know, this person is looking for their queen or this person is looking for their king. Whatever the dynamic is. They're not looking for someone. They're not looking for the, the jester. And they're not looking for the next ex. They're looking for the right one. And they saw something in you. And they, you know, they're, they're going for it. They're seizing the moment. They're not letting it pass. You know, emotional maturity. This person will fight for this. You know, and I see a foundation coming out of this. 
And I mean, one of the things that, uh, another thing that I love about this read is we see that, that foundation, you know, that four of wands, that laying that foundation, a strong foundation that won't crumble. You know, I'm not going to say that you're never going to fight with this person. You're never going to have disagreements. I feel like you might even enjoy it a little bit. But it's not going to be something that's going to take it down. You know, I, I, I feel this, this connection is stronger than that. Much stronger. And I wouldn't be surprised if this person, you do have fights. But I've talked about this before, about how... I feel like fire signs need someone that's a bit competitive. They need someone that is willing to fight with them. And they also need someone that's going to get over that shit real quick. Like me and my partner, she's a Gemini Island, and we fight. <laughs> we fight. But we get over it. It doesn't break us. And that's what it's all about. We need someone that's going to handle our good, our bad, and our ugly. You know, there's going to be days... Where we're not going to be at our best. And if they can't handle the heat, they shouldn't be in the kitchen. This person can handle it. I feel like they got their own heat as well. But it's just this instant connection, like I said. And, it, it, and falling hard and fast is all I keep seeing. Enjoying the ride. You know, like I said, that emotional fulfillment. We have the lover's card. I mean, everything's pointing that direction. This, that soulmate, that twin flame. Um, and, and twin flame may be the best word for it because I see a lot of fire. <laughs> and what happens when you put two small fires together? You make a big ass fire. And I see a lot of happiness. You know, like I said, making you feel comfortable in your own skin. That's what we want. We want someone that appreciates us for who we are and not tries to make us into something they want us to be. Someone that comes, you know, it, it's like when you go to the car dealership and you see a car that's exactly the car you want. You don't need to go get it painted. You don't need a different color. You don't need to add modifications. It's the car you want. You know, same as like, like I said before, plenty of times when, when you're house hunting, you know, you may find, you may go through a hundred houses before you find that right one. But when you find that right one, there's no doubt. This is the one. It's got all the things I need. It's got that ensuite bathroom, you know, off off the master. Nice big lawn, you know what I mean? It's got all the things you want. You know, some people want to come in and buy a house that's a fixer-upper. And they want to change it. This person ain't trying to change you. They encourage. They promote. And they protect. Because they like exactly who you are. And that's why I see this moving so fast. Like I said, falling hard and falling fast. And it feels good. And like I said, with, with this reading, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you're looking at another fire sign. I mean, we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have some Gemini, some Aquarius. I mean, we, we got some Pisces in there as well. Some Pisces energy. And we have that Taurus as well. That's, it's like that quote that I put up yesterday. You know, as long as you know what you're worth, you'll never be shortchanged. This person isn't trying to shortchange you. You know, they see more value than you may even think you have. And that's not saying that you don't think you have value, but sometimes people come along and they see something in us that, you know, we don't even know we have. And sometimes being around the right person just brings that out of us. I feel like being with the right person makes us better. They don't make us better. Being in the right situation, feeling the love, feeling nurtured, feeling respected, and, and, and feeling appreciated, that's what makes us better. You know, I don't think anybody coming in can make us better. You know, people, like, I I know people say that to me, oh, they make me want to be a better person. 
how they make you feel, maybe. You know, now some relationships need that. They need someone coming in and giving them some structure. You know, maybe they're all over the place and they need someone that grounds them a bit. That's not what I see here. I see someone coming in. You know, they were looking for their match and they found it. You know, I, I feel like... I feel like being with the right person and feeling loved from a different angle. Even if you're the most confident person in the world, you got someone coming in showing you love, showing you respect, appreciating you. Someone that just makes you laugh. Takes your mind off shit. Gives you better perspective. You see things differently. You know, if you're always you know, worried and stressed and everything else. And all of a sudden you got someone coming in that just makes you laugh, makes you forget about that shit. It gives you time to breathe. You know, I remember when I was a kid and I'd be studying, I used to study my ass off. And I remember my mom coming in and I, I'm just, she's like, you looked stressed. Like you need to go do something. Go in the yard, throw a ball around or Go play basketball or ball hockey or whatever with your friends for a bit. And come back and do it. And I'm like, no, I got to get this done. She's like, no, I'm telling you. Go do something. And I go. Like, I'd be stuck on something. And that's why I look stressed. And then I go out and I do some shit. Have a good time with my buddies. And I come back. And I look at it. And I'm like, why didn't I see that before? Because I wasn't in the right mind frame. And that's what the people that love you will do for you. And they're not doing it on purpose. They just do it because it's right. They just do it because that's who they are. And that's the people you want in your corner. That's the person you want to be stuck in that foxhole with when shit pops off. <laughs> you know, and like I said, I mean, I, I said this a million times, but I'll say it again. Fire signs, you know, people underestimate the love that we have because they don't get through the fire. You know, it's like, like I said before, it's like we have a ring of fire around us and all the love is inside. People that are willing to take a risk and, and take that leap and walk through that fire and they get inside and they realize this is a nice cozy place. The fire is to keep all the idiots out. <laughs> anyway, that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.